career in construction came because the enjoyment of basically every day is different. Getting into it, meeting new people, new faces, new challenges. So every job's different. So you're never in the same place for too long. So new sites, new projects. And also the biggest thing is, is, is changing and adapting to market conditions. And I think not many sort of industries can do it as well as what construction can. Uh, and that's why I enjoyed it because it is very fulfilling and very different. I went into construction because my overall GCSEs back in the day now, um, weren't the best. And um, I didn't have a very direct route of where I could go to in terms of career. And construction came up and, you know, I've got to where I am because it's given me those opportunities. And I tend to find that if you keep your head down, work hard, uh, take the opportunities that are given to you, um, you can elevate yourself to a very, you know, into a good position. Um, and I think, you know, if you have good common sense and good grounding, you can go far in the industry. But the biggest thing is I don't think there's enough, enough youth coming into the, into the industry. I think a lot more companies need to get buy into that and, um, and also invest in it. And, uh, and I think a lot now is about you know, paying somebody more because they think that's the right thing to do to get that person instead of investing a bit of time visiting the schools and also investing in spending time with them and, and educating the youngsters that are leaving schools about you know, coming into it. I think there's, there's gonna be a shortage of labour. I think that'll continue. Um, if you look at the average age across the sites going forward, it's um, I'd say it's probably 25s up to up to 50s. Where years ago you used to go out and see a lot more youngsters coming through. Um, so I think um, it's more process driven than it is actually um, target related. So um, so for example, it was a lot more out in the field where a lot more senior high level people now are, are more retained in the office than they were going out. So like the old construction directors, people are going out visiting sites a lot more, but they're more obviously target driven, performance related driven now than actually viewing it out on site. It's got so many different avenues and it's got so many different skill sets that, you, that I think so many people could utilize their strengths in. Um, it's not a one trick pony, so it's not like going to do one job and being retained. So, you know, if you want an office job, you can have an office job. If you want to be out in the field, you can be out in the field. If you want to be a subcontractor or you want to be um, a partner of it, there's so many different avenues you can go down. And I think, you know, it's not, it's not publicized enough, certainly at school level. Um, and I think, you know, as a, as a country, we need to invest in that more um, to, to encourage anybody to get into the construction industry because a lot of people are very, you know, youngsters are very put on pressure about what qualifications they have. It's not all about not getting the qualifications or getting the qualifications. It's about, you know, what it can offer you. My office <laughs> currently is almost, what, 80% ladies in the office and 20% um, and men. I think that that's changing over time. There's a lot of drive and a lot of publicity about women coming into construction. I think it's, it's slowly turning the corner and hopefully we can lose, lose that stigma that, that has been attached to it. Hunger, that's what I tend to go for. It's not all about somebody being fully qualified, fully you know, ticketed up to do, a, to do a role. I'm willing to invest in people if they've got the right ideas and the right passion and want to get into, you know, into, the, right, into the right job. I also look, diversity is a big thing, thinking outside the box and I'm always willing to repay somebody. I'm quite happy to open up the door for them. It's them to put their foot in it and, and to keep it open.